Mary is on the phone from Arkansas. Mary, go ahead, ask your question. Okay. First of all, I want to mention that I am 70 years old. Mm -hmm. I uh, own my own home. I don't have any debt. I have a little money in the bank, so I may be crazy to even think this. But I have always wanted to uh, market a uh, sauce that we call a pea sauce. We also use it on uh, cream cheese with shrimp as maybe a, a dip. And uh, my daughter is real concerned about uh, her job right now, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering about maybe doing this as a family. The next thing is that I don't know at all where to start. I don't know what type of equipment I would need to do this because I just do this on my stove at home. But every time I have ever made it and given any away to anyone, they always want the recipe. This is all uh, Mrs. Fields' mm -hmm. cookies. I, Mary, I love this. So I love don't, this. don't hang up, Mary, because we're going to get everybody to respond to it. Okay, okay, first of all, Mary, you're awesome. I think this is fantastic. Being 70 and owning your own home, it just puts you in a perfect position to have the time and the patience to make this thing awesome. So good for you. Um, with regard to the family and bringing in the family, that's really your call. There's some of us here that are for that, some of us that are not so for that. So that, that's really depends on your family dynamic and so on. But in terms of getting started, you already have the equipment. You have your stove. And you can sell and this two thing. Hands. And your two hands. And you've got <laughs> your family. And you can sell this thing on the internet. You can take it to the fairs. You can start to, to organically build a market for this thing until you can get it out there in, in a little bit more of a mass product. You have the yeah the secret um, ingredient two, you, you uh, secret ingredient you have Mary is you have a great owner already which is you you love doing it you like doing it with your family you got a great product you can do it as Danny says in your kitchen you can start small find local guys to do it pretty quickly you can network out to other guys to do it and uh, heck yeah I'll, I'll sell a case for it for you in China if you uh, if you want. But, <laughs> Sean, on my you did, you, well, Sean you here, did here's, this. So go ahead, tell yeah. Mary what to do. Well, uh, okay, first thing, go buy a book called Kitchen to Market. Um, and I believe it's by Stephen Hall. And it's about exactly, it's about how to do step by step what you're talking about from your kitchen to the market. And uh, some of the math has changed a little bit because of where we are right now. But you'll get an idea about how to price your sauce, how to market your sauce, and how to scale it up if that's what you want to do. So I recommend that book, number one. Number two, find to do it in your kitchen but I probably would want to check with the county health department because there's going to be some requirements about where you make this and how you sell it. And you don't want to run afoul of those folks because uh, you're going to need them as you begin this business. I would call the county health department on Monday, ask them what you need to make your sauce. Here's another thing I would do. I would find someone in your community or maybe in your state that you think is a non-competitive type sauce or who makes a barbecue sauce that's not, nothing like what your sauce will be. Somebody that you respect. I would call them, I'd talk to the owner, and I'd say, ma'am or sir, can I please come and visit with you for three hours and ask you a hundred questions? And I would offer to pay them. And I, that, that'll be the best money that you've ever spent in starting your business. And somebody out there is going to be willing to help you do that. Sean, thank you, but Mary... Good for you. Go for it. Well, Go I have a question. Oh. <laughs> I really don't mind doing this in my kitchen. But, uh, you know, like the pot that I use, I might make five pints of this. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. you know, how do I start getting five pints out to someone? Joan, got to make more well, sauce. Well, you, well, I mean, the, are you talking about how do you make more or how do you sell it? Well, how do I how do I sell it? Do I uh, cook okay. ten uh, okay. pot fulls and get uh, say fifty bottles before I even approach anyone? No, start approaching them now. Okay. I'd, I'd I'd approach people in your town. I would go to restaurants and gift shops and say. Hey, would you, uh, if, would you try to sell this? And how about if I give you an extra bottle to sample out to your customers who come in the store? Oh, okay. you, so just sample your product out, and that's how you sell You're it. You're going to have a local so. radio station in your town, too, and they're going to love having you on, and I'll guarantee you they'll love it, and they'll sell your product for you. There's probably a local news station. They'll do the same thing. And so you're going to have more business than you can handle, Mary. Very encouraging. Thank you so much. And thank you, Mary. All right, everybody, keep those calls coming. 877-249-9626. We're going to be right back.